Hi, I'm Susan Prosser, co-author of FileMaker Pro 10, The Missing Manual. In this screencast, you'll learn how FileMaker Pro handles text formatting. You'll learn how to format individual bits of text within fields. You'll see the Text Format dialog box, which is a handy place to find all the text formatting commands, and you'll learn where to find the formatting bar and how you can use that instead of menus if you prefer. FileMaker Pro's formatting commands are found in the Format menu, but when you visit the menu initially you may see that all the commands are grayed out. That's because FileMaker needs to have sele text selected first before the commands are available. To select text in FileMaker, you use the same techniques you may already be familiar with. Click and drag to select a custom bit of text, double click over a word to select it, and that works whether you're in a large field with lots of text or any of your regular fields that store smaller bits of text. With text selected, go to the Format menu and you'll see all the usual suspects. You can choose from all the fonts that are installed on your operating system, or you can choose from font sizes, and here you have specific point sizes to select from, or you can increase or decrease the size incrementally, or if the point size that you need is not visible in the menu, use the custom window to make a selection of your own. When you make a custom selection, it not only changes the selected text, but it also puts that point size in the menu for you so that you can use it again later. The style menu allows you to choose bold, italic, underline, a few flavors of underline, and you can even apply upper and lower case and superscript and subscript. You'll also find the text color command in the format menu. And here you'll have a color wheel from which you can choose pre-selected colors. Sometimes though the pre-selected colors are not the ones that you'd like. So you have an other color command that looks a little differently depending on whether you're on Mac or PC, but it gives you a color wheel from which you can mix a custom color. You can also use the color wheel to check to see precisely which color has already been applied to text in FileMaker. When the color wheel comes up, it has this sort of brown color, and in order to use it to format, drag it into one of the swatch palettes, and then you can use it to apply colors. Just click on the swatch, and it's applied. Your format menu also contains some commands that apply to the text, all the text within a field. So you have alignment commands. In this case, left alignment has been applied. You can change that to center alignment. And you also have right alignment. And full alignment is for use in large bits of text where you have multiple paragraphs. If you apply it with just a little bit of text, you won't see any effect. And as you can see, applying different formats can be a cumbersome business because you have to keep coming back and forth to the menu. The text window allows you to see all of these commands in one place. So you can choose a font, a font size, color, and the styles. Here you see a handy sample that shows you the choices that you've made, and when you're happy with your choice, click OK. Now if you think that you have too many formats applied to your text, the Records menu has a handy Revert Record command that works not only with data, but also with the formats that you've made. So here you can see the dialog box will revert all changes to the record since it was last entered. So I'll hit Revert and the data is restored. Note, this only works until you've committed the record. So while FileMaker makes it very easy for you to apply lots of text formatting to your data, 
it may not always be the best choice. Here in List View, you can see several records have had lots of formatting commands applied, and it makes for something of a messy look. Let's look at some ways to undo formatting. Now, of course, you could go and try to backtrack, but that would be time-consuming. There's sort of a secret, undocumented way to cut text and repaste it in while you delete the formatting. So select the text within a field, cut it, paste it back in, and then notice that the undo command doesn't undo the paste, but the formatting. Now this may seem cumbersome, requiring three steps, but if you know the keyboard commands, it can be quite quick. Command X, Command V, Command Z, and on to the next field. Even easier than the format menu is the formatting bar. To display it, go to the view menu and choose formatting bar. And there you'll see a font pop-up, a point size pop-up, that gives you the same choices that you had in the menu, access to your color swatch, including the color wheel and custom colors, bold, italics, and underline text, and paragraph alignment. Handy as it is, the formatting bar takes up valuable screen real estate, so when you're done you may want to put it away. You can choose View Formatting Bar a second time, or look at the edge of the status bar and you'll find an icon with two letter A's. Click on that icon to put the formatting bar away. Now that you've learned how FileMaker Pro handles individual formatting of text, it's time to extend your skills. In part two of the missing manual, you'll learn about layouts. There, you'll learn how to format fields and not text, and you'll learn about conditional formatting, which is a layout by layout method for letting the data inside a field decide how your text will look. For instance, an invoice with a negative balance could show that balance in red. And in part four, you'll learn about calculations. Text formatting functions are formulas similar to con conditional formatting that figure out how to display your text. The main difference is that they're not layout driven. They're applied to every single field that contains the same function.